a tiny island like this in the middle of a huge ocean. They eventually, after many um, excitements, find their way into King Hopen uh, Bay and they staggered ashore at this little cove and spent five days recovering and drinking and uh, uh, regaining their health and strength a little bit. But they were on the wrong side of the island. It was uninhabited. Uh, and they needed to get help on the other side. So they moved up to the head of the bay and Shackleton realized that he was going to have to cross the island. And this had never been done before. The um, island has mountains that are almost 10,000 feet high. Um, the Norwegians there believed it was uncrossable. But Shackleton in his uh, ter ter very rundown condition decided that the only way to help was to go across the mountains, uh, to navigate a, 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 a route that no one else had done and to find help. And they did this. Uh, over 36 hours, they crossed 30 miles, they climbed the ridge, they had many uh, blind alleys and so on, uh, but uh, astonishingly they survived. Uh, all of this was covered in ice and snow, uh, they uh, managed to avoid fatal falls into crevasses, and eventually they got over to Stromness, where they knew that there were men at the whaling station, and there was a whaling station there as it looks today. Uh, pretty much like deception would have been. And they staggered into the manager's house and sat down on this sofa. And he was astonished to hear their tale because everybody had given them up for dead about a year earlier. He couldn't believe that they had made the journey that Shackleton told him about. And here's the three of them after they'd had a change of clothes and a meal. So the priority was to get